You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me! Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaking. Judgment Day is here! Hey, Anthem, we're here for the show! They, they came out of the trucks and they, they just started shooting at anything that moved. I wouldn't bother. I already ran the plates. You should know by now when it comes to If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short five bags. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diazepam to make it comfortable. Longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. 
Looks like I'm on my way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! I, oh, so no hard feelings! Ah! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. Worried about the weight limit? Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators in staircase too. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. That graffiti is fresh.
I did not expect such a big crowd. I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back!
Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police Watch officer out, just like his dad. <laughs> Choppers like the one that took soot. You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, shiny. Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her. I swear to nuke. I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds. Three. 
Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! You okay there, Murphy? What does it want? Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please, calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But, she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. When will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. There is my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. Sir. 
So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, Officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy. Murphy! Could you please help me out here? What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile toward me. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take them for a walk? 
What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? Your behavior disrupts public order. I must issue a ticket. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the dog in all Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? No. You cops don't appreciate honesty. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. <gasps> Thanks for the help, Murphy. can't do it. There is no way. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Seems to be the problem. <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? <laughs> they wanted you to be safe out there. <laughs> yeah, you guys, very fun. You're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. It's 50 
Unless you want to try to break the record. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Hi, Murphy. So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. Cruiser's ready for you, Robo. Go get him! City, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Good evening. Are those two men bothering me? First, they harass my customers. Then they threatened to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Your violent control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's brand new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. Piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? 
Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down and... Where am I supposed to play hooky then? Children should not skip school. It is important for them to attend every single class. I stopped listening after should. Come back with a warrant, cop! Amazing colors, and there's not one but two of you from now on. I promise Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh Man a real life TJ laser you are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say but you are my TV hero. So all right uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem.
Surrender your weapons. No chance! Light them up! Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way.
This is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered to Melissa Kuzak. Freak. Watch out! He's coming! You need to box some manners.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said. Uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer street entrepreneur. You know what they say, good business. Nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but... Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. This is where Soot is supposedly hiding. 
can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. Or at least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Ah, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. <laughs> <laughs>